oscillation cutting can be applied to threading. You can clearly see in the right side video that chips are broken. Can it be installed as a retrofit kit for existing machines? Yes, it can be retrofitted too. Hello, machinist! I'm Shogo Nakamura from Nakamura Tome. Today, we have new announcement for you. Is there any customer have big trouble with long cutting chips? Okay, okay. Oh, many factory, many customers. So, perfect solution is oscillation cutting, isn't it? Oscillation cutting, swivel cutting edge and create air cut section and break long chips into small pieces. Okay, everybody, now we start to announce exciting news for you. Oscillation cutting can be applied to threading. Okay, we call oscillation threading. So today, I invited skillful engineer for the function. Okay, Hiroki, please come. Hi, I'm Hiroki. Nice to meet you. We see you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Okay. So today, we have the new announcement, Oscillation Threading. Is there many customers who have problem with long cutting chips? Uh, yes, many customers say they have trouble uh, with chips during threading. Uh, threading keeps making continuous chips and uh, customers find it really tough to handle them in automated system, uh, especially with difficult materials like uh, stainless steel or aluminum. Okay, so long cutting chip stop the huge automation system. That is troublesome. Is there any difference between the oscillation setting and yes. the oscillation cutting? Yes. Uh, in oscillation cutting, the cutting edge moves back and forth with the feed axis. But uh, when it comes to threading, well, Masa, seeing is believing. Uh, let's take a look at this flip chart first. In the first pass, the two oscillate along the x-axis and in the second pass, it moves along the z-axis, creating an air cut. This action breaks the chips. Let's take a look at the actual movement. On the left side, we have normal threading and on the right side, we have the oscillation threading. You can clearly see in the right side video that chips are broken. The unique feature is that oscillation occurs on an axis other than feed axis. Okay, Hiroki, how the chips look like? Here are the chips, actual chips. You can see the difference clearly. With regular threading, you get long chips like this. But uh, with oscillation threading, the air cut makes the chips shorter. Okay. That's totally different. The chips from oscillation shooting is much shorter and shapes also a little bit different. By the way, Hiroki, how is the program? Please take a look. It is very simple. Before starting the oscillation threading process, insert g 8.5 p 4 ik When it's done, insert g 8.5 p 0 to turn off the mode. The I value sets the frequency ratio and the K value sets the amplitude ratio. By adjusting these I and K values, you can break the chips. Oh, it's very clear to see, easy to use. By the way, Hiroki, so we saw the oscillation setting on the outer diameter. How about inner diameter setting and the other types of setting? Uh, yes, it can be used for internal threads as well as paper threads like PT and PF. It's also applicable for multiple threads like uh, double threads. Oh, everybody, it's good information for our customers. Our customers always make multiple type of work with and they deal with multiple type of threading. So, I think it's very effective. So, Hiroki. You have the many experience to use this oscillation threading. Do you have any key point to use this function? The first thing to consider is matching time. Uh, 
with regular threading, you perform straight machining on each pass. But with oscillation threading, both the oscillating and the regular movements occur within a single pass, which extends the machining time. Additionally, you need to adjust the I and K values depending on the spindle speed and the depth of the cut. Okay, Hiroki, I think it's more important to get rid of the risk of machine stop compared to machining time at the many occasions. Depending on the material, we need to set appropriate argument for the oscillation setting. Mm -hmm. That is also understandable. Yes, we will suggest those settings and uh, values to our customers. Okay, this is really nice function for our customers. So, okay, which model is available of oscillation setting? Uh, here is the applicable machine model. It can be installed on almost all machines, except those with a box based slide machine. Wow, it's so many machines. I can guess our customer's request. By the way, can it be installed as a retrofit kit for existing machines? Yes, it can be retrofitted too. Uh, however, the NC unit may not be compatible with the uh, older machine. If you are considering retrofit, please provide the machine serial number so we can check if installation is possible. For existing machine, it's important to share the serial number with your local dealer and with us. So, now I want to install to our machine in our factory. When is available? Uh, this feature will be available starting December 2024, including retrofitting existing machine. Okay, that's big announcement before the Christmas vacation. So if you order from now, and if you have placed order already with a delivery schedule December 2024, they can add this feature on your machine. Yes, that's correct. Thank you, Hiroki, for your time. So, everybody, did you enjoy our new function? Oscillation threading is a new solution for long cutting chips to threading section on your workpiece. We will cut the material and cut the body of manufacturing and create a wow. Everybody can enjoy manufacturing. If you like this video, please subscribe and give us a rating. See you, machinists. Bye.